Do you have that much range? That's what I was getting ready to check. 45? Yeah, you definitely can't do that. It's a 25 plus half Is level. It? Oh, okay. So you have 30. You could plant it there, and then it could five foot step and smite full attack him. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, so there's this burst of leaves, and uh, Celestial Eagle pops out and majestically like flaps through the air and is like, <laughs> <laughs> and then it sees this creature and like we get one of those wild west like the eagle looks at him and the key looks back and there's like fire in the background for no apparent reason, and they <laughs> stare at each other. And then the, he apparently falls over from taking a bunch of damage and dies. So that's a full round, but yep. it would just be that first one. Yeah. The eagle nice. Him and he dies. All right. It's cannon now. I think everybody got some in that time. Yeah. How long does the eagle last? Um, I'm a level two cleric, so two rounds. Okay. Yeah. Basically, right. the so eagle's it, gone. Yeah. yeah. The eagle has landed. Wow. I had honestly expected the boss to last a little bit longer. <laughs> or what I assumed to be the boss, the bigger, angry-looking troglodyte. Yeah. I think that was a mini-boss more than anything. Okay. Yeah. yeah. One of them ran away, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. One of them caught on fire. That? Ran down the stairs. What's it going to do? <laughs> Grab reinforcements? <laughs> right. Ah, uh, yuck. So there's something that should be noted now that you have time to look around. Mm -hmm. Starting from right here, above the doorway, there are steps that look like a young human girl was splashing in some water and then walked up above the door on the ceiling over to the wall over here, down towards this door, and then the tracks disappear. Wow. Okay. What? All right. I would like to detect magic. That's Mondo Bazaar. Uh, you detect some magic. The cold iron mace. I'm sorry. Morning star is magical. Uh, <laughs> detect magic spellcraft. Sure. Yep. Eridos, you identify this mace. Its name is Kielik, K-I-E-L-I-K. It is an ancient weapon of the troglodyte people. It is a plus one prestidigitated cold iron morning mace. Mace. Well, <laughs> nice. <clears throat> the trail of ice that comes off it is purely illusionary. Nice. So we have now, I am carrying a flail plus one, and this morning star being cold iron is probably better. Um, so does someone want the flail plus one? Did we establish that I could use it last time? I think we did, right? Yep. It's just prohibited armor. Yep. Yep. No, I don't think you're proficient in it, though. Oh, that flail, was that was flail the is yeah. The, You're proficient in the morning star, though. It's a simple weapon. Is it is it a morning star or a maze? Because you said both, Arthur. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to get it out. Okay. Just declare it. Who cares? Yeah, no, it's the boss's <laughs> token. It's a morning star. Morning star. Listen, okay, morning star is simple. It's a super important simple. morning star. It's an heirloom weapon of the Troglodyte people. Okay? Yeah, it's morning star is a simple weapon, so you could use the morning star, but not the flail. You want it, Taraka? It's yours. Uh, I would much rather have Smith use something he's better with if he needs it. I mean, well, I don't hit anything. I have like a minus two to hit in melee. I love so. how he keeps giving up magical weapons. Thousands hmm. of gold pieces pass before his eyes, and he's like, no. I am but a simple man of the... Oh, my goodness, is that a headband? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why, that'll make me look twice as handsome for when I'm channeling. Uh-huh. Yep. I'm slaving up my DPK, baby. Okay. Um, the Morning Star is bludgeoning piercing, so I guess we'll put the flail on the to-be-sold list. There you go. Okay. Let's do I that. I love how you guys are, like, stacking up all these heirloom weapons with names, and you're like, yeah, we'll sell them. <laughs> 
I like to think we have a special, like, those little weapon plaques inside of one of our trailers, and we put the little named ones up there every time we get back. All right. I don't have okay, a decent man. bashing Mounting weapon, boards. so if, yeah, nobody yeah. Cares, if nobody cares, I will carry the uh, flail. We're sure. Gonna mount a cold iron spatha named Kaysera above the bar. <sighs> I am not proficient with flail. Never mind. I am under the assumption that everyone else is carrying everything because I can't. <laughs> I'm carrying a few things nope. now that I'm not wearing armor anymore. Yeah. So, uh, I doing? have a quite quick question about clerics. Can I spontaneously what is it? Spontaneously cast uh, cure spells based on my domain ones or just my normal ones? You can cast cure. You can't change a domain spell under a cure spell, but you can change yeah, anything my... else. Okay, that's what I wanted to As check. a druid, you can change your druid spells into summon monster, summon nature's allies spontaneously. Yep. Super yep. useful, right? Summon some ants. <laughs> <laughs> eagles are in there too. Psychic snails. <laughs> Psychic snails. E eagles are <laughs> in there. Friends, it's us again. So, which store do we want to go in? Do we want to go in the one with the creepy footprints, or do we want to just take it in a circle? Let's check out the room of the big truck that I came from first. I agree. All right. Okay. So check out the room of the truck that I came from. Um, a ten-foot wide balcony winds itself around the ancient ballroom below. A rickety-looking railing runs along the balcony's edge. While they're doing that, I'd like to stand by these stairs and listen intently down them for anyone else chasing us. With a one, so, yeah. Okay. Um, perception check for the room. Do I see anything Interesting. of interest? So, Duraga, when you make that check, Babu kind of, like, picks his ears up and, like, walks in a circle for a minute. It's clear that he's heard something that you haven't. All right. Oh, I God. will. Sorry, I didn't catch that. What were you looking for? That's all right. I was just checking the room. Uh, see if I see anything yeah. I mean, it's the same as the ballroom you sound, saw downstairs, Okay. just with the railing. The railing looks super unsafe. All right. Um, from Babu's reaction, can I solicit Eridos to come over here and listen to the stairs? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to tell you you can't do that. Yeah. No! That would be <laughs> metagaming, to use the in-game knowledge you gained from your pet. Uh, uh, are we sickened anymore? Uh, it wears off after one minute. So? I'll say yes. You are no longer sickened. Cool. What do I hear? Do I hear? Uh, so you hear a noise echoing throughout the castle. It sounds like a chain hitting a wall, like an iron chain hitting a stone wall. Iron chain hitting a stone. It doesn't stone? seem to be moving. It's and it's a steady pace, like once every two seconds. It's rhythmic. I relay that information to Duraga. It's not moving. All right. Perhaps we should tell the party to listen for. <laughs> Sounds like some sort of prisoner, maybe. Yeah. No discernible direction, though. Nope. Not nope. From upstairs, following down. Nope. All right. Thank you, Eridos. I appreciate you trusting in Babu's uh, judgment. Uh, you are welcome. All right. So. Uh plan we want to go ahead and round these rooms real fast yeah sure okay i'm i think i'm gonna start taking this a little bit faster i'm just gonna run up and kick open the door we're, we're spending a heck of a lot of time here <laughs> oh, we're God. spending way too much time doing oh, this we're are, are you we're that actually that under pressure here y'all our friend is out there in serious condition and we're surrounded by hobgoblins and we're you know you have no idea so, yeah. how amazing it is. Storm up and the kick the door. Storm. I'm done messing around. Okay, you... unlike the rest of this place, this room is completely unlit. And uh, you see piercing red beady eyes 
peering out from underneath a red cloak. And the eyes are actually, like, lit up. So it's the <laughs> only thing you can see in the room. And this creature turns toward you and says, mm, So you have finally come, prophet. And then he gets down on one knee before you and, and like, holds his sword up like this and says, All hail the prophet. Is he looking at me? Yes. Oh, uh, God. I had no idea you were a prophet. Congratulations. Um, I'll... I thought Eridos was the one concerned with profit. Right, we can all hear him, right? And see the eyes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he's speaking in common, I assume? Yep. Profit. I'm what guessing we speaking? can't. Profit, Rick. what are you speaking of? Okay, so um, does anyone have a light source that they're bringing in here? I have a gigantic blue glowing sword that sheds 20 feet or... Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so, yeah, like, I guess in the room you you actually saw. This isn't uh, the male of the species. This is actually a female. And the room around you, there are dozens of paintings of towering humanoid figures with four wings, a bird's head, and a scorpion's tail that decorate the walls of this room. Painted in blood. Old pews sit facing the eastern wall where a hideously defaced statue of a winged woman stands. And uh, this creature is dressed in formerly fine but currently filthy robes caked in blood. And uh, her feathers are kind of like smeared with blood all over the place. And she says, uh, Great prophet, I have been waiting for over 20 years for you to arrive. Our lord has sent me. And she like looks at the statue over in the corner and says, Would you be so kind as to destroy that? I am... So tired of having to fake my allegiance, but now that you are here, I can finally serve you. Statue what of a in the woman. flaming heck are you talking can, about? Can I sense motive um, and I'll ask. Uh, I'll is? keep an eye on her, but I'll kind of half turn and ask someone to come in and look at this statue and tell me what it is. Who it is? And uh, I'll ask the creature why. Do you want the statue destroyed? And who I think is it? it's a statue of Desna. Is that who it is, really? I nope. think. Nope. I don't know. I haven't seen no, because I didn't think Desna had... <coughs> well, I probably don't know. All right, so knowledge religion? Let's see here. Ooh. Oh, man. Uh, Duraga, this is a statue of some sort of demonic lord. Ah, oh. all right. Okay. You don't have much more knowledge than that. Uh, seems pretty bad. We should totally trash it. <clears throat> all right, lady, you look like a raven, but you sound cuckoo. Says, <laughs> I will overlook your impudence for now. And she says, "Great Lord, please accept me into your band of servants." I will surely serve you better than that pathetic fool over there with the wow. foul mouth. This cannot end well. Or can wow. end great. Um, I think this might turn into a Kamakiri situation. Yeah, um, I'll ask her, uh, how do you know this, uh, this about the prophet? She says, your soul, you have sundered it. And she gestures towards your sword, and she says, Only those who are of the faith of great power are given the gift from our Lord. He who crawls in the darkness. A gug. Ah, okay. That's different. Wow. Do we all hear oh. that? When she says, he who crawls in the darkness? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Okay. Well, we threw uh, the covers yep. off now. Um, uh, now this should be fine. Destruction's part of your religion. Uh, well, her. yeah, I'm okay with destroying the statue. I'm trying to figure out what to do about her, because she just outed me. Just Destroy her. her. Uh, you just told I think Smith's gonna everyone. Kill her. Why should I not destroy you where you stand? He says, they're your servants, are they not? They travel behind you like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Uh, and cats. You need to give me a reason why I'm going to destroy you where you stand for opening your mouth and telling everyone. He says, I but am they had a, no reason to know. I am a powerful cleric of the faith. I can aid you in your journey. <laughs> I could be a strong secular ally. All right, I'm not going to answer right now. Um, I'll ask. Sorry, that should be non-secular. Yeah, no, okay. Non-secular. Uh, I was I was thinking that didn't make a. Uh, I'll ask Smith to keep an eye on her. Okay. And I'll I'll walk over and proceed to smash the statue. All right. When you do that, she starts reaching slowly into her robes. I do. She's have reaching control. slowly into her robes. I'll, uh, Look and when he says that, I'll turn around piece. and tap her on the head with the tip of my sword. Okay. She withdraws out a holy symbol, and she, like, says, I would have you destroy this sacrilege of faith that I have had to put up with for 20 years in order to fool these pathetic heathens. What's the holy symbol? Can anybody tell me? Because I certainly can't. You can make another knowledge religion check. Oh, ha -ha. Yeah, Duraga, you recognize that this is a holy symbol of Pazuzu, the <laughs> demon god of winds and trickery. Okay, yeah, I don't have any problem with that. I'll smash the crap out of it. I to destroy it. Okay, like she tosses it onto the ground in front of you. She starts reaching again uh -huh. into her robe slowly. Mm-hmm. No one's making any sudden moves. No, um, I, she's within reach. <laughs> okay, she pulls out a holy symbol of a certain god. Uh, Is this more knowledge checks? Sure. Oh, 12. Yeah, this is definitely a chaotic god of some kind, Raga. Definitely evil. Um, it's associated with the abyss, but, you know, <laughs> it's not a demon lord. Hmm. No. Yep. I haven't seen this symbol before. Uh, maybe you've seen it, but you've never associated with anything. Of course, she does immediately as soon as she pulls it out, begin screaming like, "All hail Rovagog! His <laughs> passing shall cleanse the world and destroy all. Rovagog is the greatest of all gods. Damn. Soon he shall escape the dead vault." I charge. Okay. Uh, yep. Time to kill her. Damn right. it. Fool! I'll tell tell her she's a fool, and she's sealed her own death. Right? There's no need for rolls here. You you know. She uh, makes yeah, no attempt to defend herself as you guys cut her down where she stands. I won't help, but I won't hinder. <laughs> you ready for this one, Agug? As you guys cut her down, you lay the last blow with your sword. No, no, I am not helping. Oh, you're not helping. I'm specifically oh, not okay. helping. All right. No, I said I will neither help nor hinder. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, so Sending that doesn't acid happen. splashes. Acid splashes. Yeah, no, attack. she dies a horrible death. Dumbass. She makes no attempt to defend herself and simply just spends the whole time looking at a gug. Is you know. And I'll tell her she's a she's a fool and she should have kept her mouth shut. Okay, not much I can do about that. How do you guys? So let me ask. How do you guys feel about the revelations you've suddenly had? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does mean. Smith, with his one sense motive, is like, she's bloody crazy. I don't know who she thought you were. I have, no, I've ne I can honestly say I have never heard any of this before. I don't know what the devil she's talking about. Oh, yeah, sense, motive. sense motive, too. No, I'm telling the truth. I, I meant to sense, sense motive, motive all you her, want. So that was on her. Yeah. Raga, <clears throat> you, you, your sense motive. Um. You sense that she was in a religious fervor and very excited, uh, but also very calm. Crazy. She was like excited to see a gug, but she was also very accepting of her fate. Yeah, that's a good word, better than calm. Okay. Um, I'll push like when when he he entered the room and wasn't immediately like overjoyed to see her. She she was very, you know, prepared for what just happened to her 
I don't know. I... Yeah. Uh, uh, why, uh, why would this clearly evil creature know you? I have no earthly idea what she's talking about or why she thinks I'm some prophet. This is, this is all news to me. <clears throat> we have given you a lot of faith in the last 24 hours when you showed up with a giant lightning sword and started smiting our enemies for us. Uh, a, time of reckoning, a time of reckoning will come and we all must answer for our deeds. If you do not want to share today, you will have to soon. That is the most badass shit I've ever heard of the player lay out. Wow. You nice. actually said a time of reckoning. That was fucking awesome. Sweet. That was pretty badass, man. You will pay for your sins. And this is perfect. Uh, uh, I'll say, uh, 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 Agug says, uh, Duraga, you misunderstand me. Um, I am the same person I have always been with the same goals and the same beliefs. And yes, nothing now, else okay. has changed. So while you say that, Agug, in the back of your head, you hear a voice that's like, yes. Convince them, tell them what they need to hear. <clears throat> that's, it's all truthful. But at the same time, you are also part of you is in that sword. We heard her go on about that. Agog, I um, do not doubt that you believe yourself, but to quote one of my favorite authors, do you know which way the tree falls? <laughs> <laughs> it falls the way it leans, my friend. Um, and you're leaning heavily in the wrong direction. Test me. Detect mm. evil. Time will test you, my friend. <laughs> you're not high enough level for detect evil to go off. Yep. You're not a powerful enough creature to show up on the radar. Yeah, well, shows how much I know about clerics. Yeah, eh. exactly. Well, the sword might be, but we'll move on. Yeah, well, that's carefully You've put You've already away. established the sword is evil, yes. Yeah, we we put that away. <laughs> yeah. Surprised you haven't found a lead box to put it in yet. Yeah, really. <laughs> I need quick draw and a big piece of lead. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? Reference? Anybody? No? Damn. Yeah, oh, yeah. Or the stick. stick. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. I was, the I was getting a little concerned. Yeah. You guys it's must a have been, Stop uh... repressing my culture, you ethnocentric bitch. <laughs> uh, it's, it's definitely worth the encumbrance just to keep it around all right um i i will do my best to assure you that the, the rest of the party that uh you know I, I i have not changed i am no different than i've always been and uh the sword oh. is in the back of your head like convince them yes tell yeah. them what they need to hear I will continue trying to uh, trying to talk to Duraga and trying to bring him around because I yeah. I don't I honestly don't believe I'm any different. But uh, the the good is definitely falling off. Mm -hmm. All right, I f I know we have another ten minutes, but I feel like this would be a fantastic place. Take a break. <laughs> I feel like this yeah. is a good stopping point. No. Nope. Right. It's just like a great like story point. You guys are standing around over the corpse of this person that you basically have butchered. Yeah. And you're like discussing morality covered in blood carrying, <laughs> you know, several feet of steel. From some old lady that didn't even try to defend herself when yeah. we cut her down. You guys cut her down. Who's evil oh, now, she, huh? You huh? Sat and watched. <laughs> she's not some lady, she's an Oni. Right? She's an uh, evil no. cleric. No, she's, no, she's just she a regular was, uh, dire Corby bird. Uh, Corby, yeah. Yeah. Cleric of an evil deity. I'd say it's perfectly justified. Yeah. Uh, not if she didn't that. try to attack you, deceive you, or destroy something. The worship of Rovagug is illegal. Yeah, I agree. The worship of Rovagug is cause enough. Everything yeah. I do is illegal. I'm a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm trying to take this break, but we keep getting this amazing dialogue. I love the idea of a gog just like sighing and like holding his face. Like, everything I do is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm Remember? just waiting for him to slip up and go, where do you think I got this totally uh, legit sword? <laughs> <laughs> totally legitimate. Totally legitimate. <laughs> Will you guys remember the psychedelic freakazoid uh, mm. orcs that came to visit us? You know, obviously, you know, they've been smoking something. The tie-dye orcs in their baggy <laughs> hides. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they if they want to psychedelics, if they want to <laughs> give stuff away, if they want to give stuff away, who am I to say no? Mm. All right, so to all our viewers, you should definitely be googling "order of the stick" if you don't know what that is, because it's a fantastic D and D three point five variant web comic, closing in on a thousand pages right now. It's at like nine eighty something. I mean, going on for like a dozen years. Yeah, yeah. Long. The first hundred pages are like each each day is a new joke, and then they start hammering out this storyline. It is fantastic. that's fantastic, so yeah. good, and they keep the jokes well, coming, but they're not the main. You, to give you some idea of the time frame, the very first comic book, the very first comic is about the changes from three point to three point five, and how the uh, the ranger got. The ranger got screwed. The halfling got screwed. The uh, yeah, it's so great. The little pops. <laughs> ba, ba, wah, wah, wah. The stealth I rolled a four. <laughs> <laughs> I got a four. Actually, I'm wearing boots of the elven kind, so I got a nine. I have two favorites in that. One of them is wait, everybody, nobody move. I think I missed a. a, a it's not called a perception check. I missed I think a. I failed a spot, spot check. Spot, spot check. I think I failed a spot check, and the other one is uh, uh, go go team cleric. <laughs> I have to say, my favorite moment is in the the books that he released that were additional. The origin of the party, the origin of Team Zycon, yeah, and um, the Dragon Magazine, the compilation of everything that was in the D and D Dragon Magazine. The origin of Zycon, all of it is fantastic, from the X Men yep. references to Zycon ripping his skin off. Yep, wow. that was that was an absolutely great storyline. I loved it. Yep. All right, all right, guys. Break. We are gonna take that break. We'll be back in about nine minutes. All right. Follow, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Did I mess this up again? I didn't think I messed it up, but apparently I did. Very good. Damn.